assume he did pretty well at Class M's or, you know, Opens even, too. So he might even be a state champ. This guy is an absolute specimen athlete. He is fast. He's explosive. And uh, it's got to be tough being the, the freshman going up against this powerhouse. And he likes to start oh, with sorry, his knees Ian's, on Ian's the ground, the by the way, which is interesting. He's one of those guys that starts really low, and he just shot right out of nowhere and got the quick two. He can move faster from his knees than most people can from their feet. So what does that tell you about him? And he wants to take top position here. I do love them, the orange of the Montville Wolves with the wolf on the back. And he's gonna let him go. He's gonna let him go. He's gonna get right back into position. There he goes to the knee, and he's just, I mean, it's terrifying. He's like he's stalking you. So we used to we used to always get a good kick out of uh, you know as we know the Montville used to be the Montville Indians, but their coach Gary uh, I think his name is Gary, he always dressed up as a cowboy, so he always had a, you know a nice suit on and everything, but he had a cowboy hat, so we found it funny that the Indians were coached by the cowboy. And Linder is your defending class S champion as well, and right now up four to one, and he gave the point to Stewart. Linder so confident. That's as quick as we've seen anybody. Uh, he and it does. He looks like he's stalking you. I mean, I would be, I would not be comfortable, you know, with a guy who comes in third in the state open. Yeah, and uh, Ian's here. You know, he's only, his pitch is only wrestler. So, good job, young man, representing your your school well. Going up against, you know, a guy who's looking to go back to back MOWs. And he's working him. He's got the arm hooked. He's trying to get him over onto his back. Let's see if he stays with that. Was gonna, what's he doing here? Working a chicken wing with a, ooh, right into a stack. And this is probably, this could be night, night. Got him over, waiting for it. No, he wants Couldn't to, oh, it. now it's really going to be night, night. I'll let you know. I, we got a good view here for once. That's and it. There it is. James Linder. <laughs> Back-to-back -back ECC championships. Moving up to 144. Doesn't slow him down. He was the most outstanding wrestler last year. He just put on a show this year. He stays undefeated. What is left for Linder to prove? I don't think there's much in the ECC. What a dominant performance from one of the ECC true gentlemen, too, by the way. He's going to be over with our own Chris Juicy And Juice, this kid right here is the real deal, as good as they come. The real deal. James Linder, dominating performance. Talk about what happened out there. Uh, like, my, like Coach Jake said right before the match, as soon as I put my hands on the guy, I'm wrestling. <laughs> Set your body into motion and just let all your actions speak, all right? No reason to get nervous out there. No reason to wrestle with fear. Just put your body into motion and just keep wrestling. You, you win again, uh, moving up a weight class. Talk about the, the training regimen and, and what you, anything that you've done differently this year compared to last year's championship. Oh, it was much of the same. Only difference is this time there was a target on my back. This time people knew who I was heading into the season. So everybody that wanted to come after me, I had to step it up even more. Always tougher to be the hunted. What's next? What are the aspirations for the rest of this season? We want everything. We want to class S. State Opens, New England, head down to Nationals, make a statement there. Dominating performance. Congratulations.